Now, I got better at math though when I started dealing math. <laughs> Three and a half ounces and eight balls. <laughs> Quarters. And... Uh, it's a joke. And... Uh, drugs, man. Do you guys remember when they said marijuana was a gateway drug? I always disagree. I thought alcohol was. Think about it. how many times you've been drunk and done something stupid. Right? Like snorts of cocaine, right? <laughs> yeah, brother, right? Or, or uh, how about, I know you, bro. Come on. You were like buzz when that fucked an ugly chick. Yeah. Are you guys together? Yeah, right? You've seen his ex as ugly bitches, huh? On social media, still following him, still stalking him, right? What's your name, bro? I am, right? Blackout wasted, right? Sucked a dick. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it up for I am. Uh, being truthful, I am a dick sucker. I'm a drunk in iron. <laughs> Did you know that about iron? How long have you guys been together? Three years. Oh, that was before you were. I actually do shows here. I did shows here before. I remember he was here one time. It was with a guy, you know, so, uh, but it's 2022, right? we're progressive here, so. I lived in San Francisco for a bunch of years, and uh, I, I grew up in New Hampshire, so growing up, never experienced gays, lesbians, transgender. Yeah, I have a good friend there that's transgender, she calls herself a transformer. Mm. More than meets the eye, right? So I, I take it one step further, I call her a Decepticon. <laughs> Autobots. Am I gonna get canceled for that? Can I say that? I mean, I'm Asian, I'm not gonna get canceled, right? You can't cancel an Asian person, alright? Asian hate. <laughs> yeah, a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. I, um, we gotta talk about it. Uh, shootings, right? Mass shootings. Did you guys. Did you hear about that Buffalo shooter, right, when that happened? Did you guys hear he had a 180-page manifesto? Yeah, when I heard that, I was like, who reads today? Get a, send me a reel or a TikTok, okay? All right, too dark, all right, we'll do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was Jamie right there, lose that joke. We'll go back to Hunter Biden smoke crack. That's better, huh? All right. <laughs> no, I, um, during the pandemic, uh, uh, were you single during the pandemic? Yeah? How many dick pics you send out? <laughs> Come on, be honest, dude. It, it was the end of the world, okay? You sent out a few, it's okay. To your grandma, who knows, right? <laughs> All right, too, too dark. How many did you send out? What? <laughs> End of the world, he only sent out one dick pic. I read a lot that 2020 was the year of the dick pic. 420 million dick pics went out. It fucked the server. <laughs> Ladies, you like dick pics? No, right? I get it. 2022, guys, we gotta step it up. I am, right? I live in LA. I like to send dick movies. <laughs> I got a director, a choreographer, hair and makeup. Right? <laughs> I got a dick trilogy out there. I said the dick boomerang, right? The dick boomerang? <laughs> or the dick talk? <laughs> Sir, have you sent dick pics in your life? He's like, no. Dick Polaroids, right? Dick Polaroids? <laughs> Dude, I respect that. That's a lot of work, sir, right? You gotta make sure your dick's hard and you're making that big bulky camera, right? And you don't have like that, the, the uh, screen, right? To really see what's going on. And you take a picture, you get the flash, it blinds you, right? And then what do you do when the picture comes out after a nice and slow, you gotta blow on it, right? Stick it in an envelope, send it on its way, right? Oh, you're smiling though, huh? You like those, you like those big polarized, huh? You got a whole shoebox full of them, don't you? It's like, that's my brother, what are you talking about? <laughs> I started doing comedy after the pandemic. I, was, I felt like it came out of a time warp. I didn't know it was relevant anymore. And uh, the Me Too movement, which you know had ended or was still kind of going on, 
And uh, when that was going on, I thought to myself, would I ever be implicated? And I was like, no, not me. You know why, miss? I'm very respectful and polite when I make love. <laughs> yes, after a long, passionate night with me. <laughs> Consensual. <laughs> I always bow. <laughs> Leave a fortune cookie. Right. <laughs> He's turning red. Why is he turning red? Do you want a fortune cookie, sir? Is that... <laughs> you want to be part of this? <laughs> They're a fun crowd. You guys ready for Jane Kennedy? Come on, make some noise. She's in the house. Let's see if this one is gonna work. <laughs> I got a couple of new ones I wanna try. I, uh, my friends are antidepressants. Anyone else? My friends are antidepressants. Woo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> She's happy. Look at her. She took her dose right before she came to the coffee <laughs> show. He told me, though, that one of the side effects is you can't get it up. Yeah, if I was on antidepressants and couldn't get it up, I'd kill myself. All right. <laughs> All right, one dark guy over there. All right. All right, let's see how woke you are, San Jose, with this one. Um, I just found out my favorite niece is going to transition. Yeah. It's weird, though. Uh, she didn't have the balls to tell her parents. <laughs> All right, I like that one. Right. Yes, those come later, sir. Those come later, right? All right. I'm Leave you with this. Uh, I am getting the age, you know, I'm thinking about having children, and I decided I'm going to follow in the footsteps of my parents and adopt. Yeah. I'm going to adopt a white baby. It's a boy, and my name is Bok Choi. And if it's a girl, kimchi. Right? Folks, are you ready to get this show going? Come on, let's get it going. Before I bring them out, uh, we got a little drop-in guest set from a, a local favorite here at the Improv. Give it up for Noah Gale! 